Welcome to Congo Expedition at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Today, we're going on an exciting journey through the dense rainforests of Central Africa. The rainforests of Congo are packed full of vibrant life. Let's discover the different mammals that thrive here and the unique features they possess. First, what is a mammal? Mammals are warm-blooded animals that breathe air, have a backbone, and grow hair. Female mammals can produce milk to feed their young. Since there are many kinds of mammals, scientists organized them into orders based on their physical traits. There are 27 orders of mammals, and today we're going to investigate three of them. Get ready to meet some primates, a big cat, and even the mysterious relative of the giraffe. High up in the African rainforest, we'll find the black and white colobus monkey. Colobus monkeys are the first primate that we'll see on our journey today. Primates are defined by their shared physical features, most notably their large, complex brains and eyes that face forward. If you look in the mirror, you'll see a primate because humans are primates too. Black and white colobus monkeys live almost entirely in the forest canopy, and one of their most distinguishing features is their long tail. Most, but not all monkeys have tails. It's a common misconception that all monkeys have prehensile tails, meaning they can grasp things with it. However, only some monkeys who are native to Central and South America have prehensile tails. Monkeys native to Europe, Asia and Africa use their tails to keep them balanced as they leap from branch to branch high up in the canopy. Most primates have thumbs, but this species of monkey has actually lost their thumbs for good reason. Without thumbs, their long fingers can act like hooks, letting them swing quickly through the trees without getting tangled in branches. This helps them move swiftly and avoid predators. Look closely and you'll spot the African leopard hidden among the trees. African leopards are big cats. Although they may look cute and cuddly, these felines are around 15 times the size of a house cat. All big cats are carnivores, which are animals that eat meat. Leopards have distinct physical traits and specialized behaviors that make them expert hunters. These stealthy cats have uniquely shaped spots that help them blend into the shadows of the forest. Hiding in the shadows allows leopards to sneak up on their next meal. Leopards are predators, which are animals that hunt other animals for food. Prey is the animal that is hunted by predators. Leopards can prey on antelopes, gazelles, primates, and many other animals. These big cats can sprint up to 36 miles per hour they can also jump up to three meters in the air, about as high as a basketball hoop. With long, muscular bodies, short legs, and strong shoulder muscles, leopards are also expert climbers. They often hunt at night and stash food in trees to hide it from other hungry predators. Leopards prefer being alone, marking their territory with claw marks or scent to keep others away. What physical traits and behaviors allow leopards to be one of nature's best hunters? Now let's meet one of the most well-known animals of Central Africa, the Western Lowland Gorilla. Gorillas are primates, but are more specifically defined as great apes. Gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans are the four great apes. They do not have tails. They are considered the most intelligent primates and are known for their complex social behaviors. Can you find any other members of the great ape family at the zoo? Gorillas move swiftly through the forest on all fours with their long, strong arms. They use their knuckles to help them stay balanced. Gorillas have opposable thumbs on their hands and feet that they use for things such as climbing and eating plants. 
You might even be surprised to learn that gorillas are primarily herbivores. Gorillas are known for their strong family bonds. In fact, some of the female gorillas here at the zoo have stepped in as foster moms for gorilla babies in need. In the past, gorilla babies that require extra support have come to the zoo, where these incredible foster mothers take on the important role of raising the gorilla baby. The foster moms ensure the young gorillas are loved, cared for, accepted, and eventually integrated into the troop. This process not only helps the baby develop essential social skills, but also strengthens the troop's bond as a whole. What are some differences between great apes and monkeys? Next, let's meet the largest monkey in the world, the mandrill. Just like the colobus we met earlier, these primates have large brains and eyes that face forward, but they have short tails. These amazing primates live in the tropical rainforests of Central Africa. They spend most of their day on the ground and sleep up in the trees at night. Mandrills are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. Their diet includes fruits, seeds, fungi, snails, worms, and sometimes even frogs and lizards. Many different animals communicate through body language, including mandrills. Mandrills often show their teeth as a sign of friendliness, or they could just be yawning. It's hard work being a monkey. One of the most eye-catching features on mandrills is their brightly colored faces and bold bottoms. Male mandrills have a striking red and blue color on their faces and have bright blue and purple butts. Females have red and blue faces too, but the colors are more muted. Both females and males sport big golden beards. These vivid colors help them stand out and communicate with other mandrills. What other animals can you think of that use bright colors to communicate or stay safe? Finally, we meet the okapi, a unique hoofed animal. Hooves are a tough foot covering and mammals with hooves are called ungulates. Can you think of any other animals at the zoo that have hooves? One animal at the zoo that has hooves is the giraffe. In fact, okapis are nicknamed the forest giraffe because they're the only present day relative of giraffes. Giraffes and okapis both have prehensile tongues, a feature that helps them grab and eat leaves. All giraffes and male okapis have ossicones, which are two small bony structures on their head. Okapis are smaller and shorter than their giraffe relatives because they live in dense forests and not in open savannas. The okapi's shorter legs and necks allow them to skillfully navigate their homes and avoid obstacles like tree branches, rocks, and varying terrain. Okapis are solitary animals and rely on their excellent hearing to stay alert to predators. Their striped legs and dark colored coat help them blend into the shadows of their lowland rainforest home. They're mysterious and shy, but their residence at the zoo helps us to understand more about their way of life. As you explored Congo Expedition, you've seen all different types of mammals. You've learned about different primates, a big cat, and an elusive ungulate. Each species fills an important role in the ecosystem, relying on special features and behaviors to survive and thrive in this forest environment. At the Columbus Zoo, we're committed to protecting wildlife and their habitats. Programs like our Gorilla Foster Program and our efforts to conserve natural habitats are just a few of the ways we make a difference in preserving the future of these incredible animals. With every step we take, we learn more about how to protect these animals and the forests that they call home.